It might be easy if you take a deep breath, lift from the knees, and shove it up your butt. <laughs> I came up with a new thing this summer. I act like I'm telling someone how to do something. I go on with a long description, and then I say, and shove it up your butt. <laughs> it's stupid, but it's my thing now. I wake up every morning in a bed that's too small, drive my daughter to a school that's too expensive, and then I go to work to a job for which I get paid too little. But on pretzel day, well, I like pretzel day. Because they're acting all tough and everything, uh -huh. but what they were rapping about was cupcakes, the Chronicles of Narnia. Mm -hmm. God, who invented cupcakes, um, right? I want to kill Hey, them. hey, hey, Phyllis, what are you doing? I'm just saying hi to Bob. No, I think you're cutting in line. Well, settle down, Scott. I'm, no, I'm not going to uh -uh. settle down. No way, uh-uh. Get mm -mm. in the back, please. Boo! Boo! Boo. Back in line. Thank you. That's right. Mm -hmm. What a pair of Marys. This is pretzel day. Oh, Arga, oh. What is this, a, a meatball? Really? <laughs> it's always more fun to mess with Dwight with an audience. That was usually Pam. So now that she's out, I had to find someone else. Turns out that Stanley is quite the comedy fan. But not everything makes him laugh. He has very specific tastes. Through a painstaking process of trial and error, I found out what he likes. And it's really weird. Jim, come on. So juvenile. What the? You've been meatballed. <laughs> oh. Are you ready for some meatball? Oh, man. <laughs> this is not very clever, Jim. I know. <laughs> Look for your stapler. <laughs> really, Jim? Really? <laughs> Very funny. People hate people that are different from them. That's natural. But you know what makes people forget their differences? A great show. That is why I created the Integration Celebration. This is the moment when Scranton and Stanford come together as one, united in applause. There you are. I don't think we have finished with my inbox. What's Scott's tots? <laughs> <laughs> Has it really been 10 years? <laughs> Local businessman pledges college tuition to third graders. <laughs> <sighs> so, this is what 2 p.m. looks like around here. I usually take a siesta about now. Have you seen Aaron? I'm on break. No, hey, bloggers, where do you think you're going? No, 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 you gotta stay for the big presentation. We got this young whiz kid, Ryan. He's like an even more handsome Bill Gates. When's the presentation? It's moments away. Just stay here. Hey, do you mind if I take the lead on this one and then you can critique me after? You want the lead? Yeah, if you don't mind. Mind? Nothing would delight me more. <laughs> Why haven't we heard anything? It's 4.45. There's only 15 minutes left. Oh, now you can do math? Where were you two hours ago, beautiful mind? I made a mistake, I'm sorry. I know how to save the company, everyone. Just write a petition, get everyone's signature, including our clients. March down to Florida and shove it up your butt. <laughs> it's not that funny. <laughs> Here's an idea, conservation. I love it, conservation. Let's start by conserving our time and stop having these stupid meetings. No. No more meetings! No more meetings! No more meetings! No more meetings! <laughs> Where's Angela? Well, there you are. I didn't see you behind that grain of rice. Boom! Roasted. Stanley, you crush your wife during sex and your heart sucks. Boom! Roasted. Oscar, you are... <laughs> Oscar, <laughs> you're gay. Wow. Andy Cornell call. They think you suck. <laughs> and you're gayer than Oscar. <laughs> Boom, roasted. Boom, roasted. <laughs> <laughs> All right.
right. <laughs> All right, everybody. You know I kid. You know I kid. You guys are the reason that I went into the paper business. So, uh, good night. God bless. God bless America. And get home safe. Yeah. Good night. So do they bring in food or do you get to go out? Or no, they, they, they bring it in. You lucky son of a bitch. I have been trying to get on jury duty every single year since I was 18 years old. To get to go sit in an air-conditioned room downtown, judging people while my lunch is paid for, that is the life. <laughs> and you just said, hi, hi, hi. <laughs> You sounded like <laughs> my niece, and she's six months old. <laughs> 364 days till the next pretzel day. Oh, my head is killing me. Does anyone have a baby aspirin? Oh, enough with the whining already. Why don't you just have some more coffee? It's all gone. I didn't get a chance to try them all because Creed poured my Bogota Sunrise in the plant. I saw the leaves twitch. Shut up. You shut up. Everybody shut up and work. We don't work for you. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, it's five o'clock. <laughs> hey, gang, where you been? Lunch. Where'd you eat? A restaurant. What'd you have, Stanley? I had a salmon salad with water, no ice. I was gonna get a soda, but the waitress talked me out of it. Her name was Flo, she had black hair. I had Mexican food. So since you guys already ate, you won't be eating the stuff that you brought with you for lunch, will you? Oh, wow, Stanley, is that egg salad? Andy brought some salmon. Oh, that's great. White. Is that a meat sandwich? You guys hungry? I can eat. I'm gonna have some of this meat sandwich. It's pony. Mmm. What kind of sauce is on your salmon? Dijonese. Mmm. Mmm. Thanks for going out, guys. Mm-hmm. <laughs> okay, good day. What's a haul? 32 meatballs. Good day. <laughs> that idiot's been feeding us for a week. We'll never have to buy meatballs again. <laughs> <laughs>